Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albait Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Denmark versus Croatia. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Pierre Emil Hoybier plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international, Andrei Kramaric. And so the match is underway. Mateo Kovacic. Really a very poor ball. Kea. And Hoybier with it. Good looking sequence, and credit is due for that good piece of defending. Good physical play. Oh, the threat is there, attending to his defensive chores. Delaney, Mikael Damsgord, and the cross goes in and given away. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Nicely saved. Well, every football coach likes to have a versatile forward in his ranks. Andre Kramaric is certainly one such player. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Hold on, Derek. Chance here. And the keeper more than equal to the task. <laughs> and over from Ericsson. What a bad pass it was. Perfect challenge. Kovacic. And Denmark doing well to regain possession. That's a good example of how to get forward from Christian Eriksen. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And the corner has been given. And over from Eriksen. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick.
Poibier. Mele. Oh, a lovely ball. Not going to get wide from there. Disappointing. Kasper Dolberg. And he read it well defensively. Ivan Perisic. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Brozovic. Kovacic. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Superbly read and executed. And a throw in forthcoming. Mario Pasalic. A chance to whip it in. Can he put them in front? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. <laughs> Giving the ball away. And making headway. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And a throw in it's going to be. Perisic. Well, high quality defending. Skov Olsen. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Could take the lead. And he's missed the opportunity to net the opening goal. Well, it should be 1 0, Derek. You can see how frustrated he is with himself. Of Olsen. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Ivan Perisic. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Kramaric. The timing was perfect. It had to be. Can he finish? Well kept out. <laughs> Delivering it. Not away completely. And it's come off the keeper. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Can he find the right pass? A fine reading of the situation. Mario Pasalic. Poibier. Eriksson. Oh, did so well to deny him. And there's the delivery. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Cross could be useful. 
Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't gotten the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a marked improvement in the second half. And he's given us away. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. The high press was very much on. Kasper Dolberg. Andrei Kramaric. Perisic with the ball. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Will they profit from this situation? Wonderful chance. Oh, he's blocked it. Andrei Kramaric. The ball with Luka Modric. Routine, really. Ericsson. Mele. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Can he finish this? And still an opportunity. And in at the second time of asking just what was required. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Fine ball from Ericsson. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. Well, a corner kick it is. Let's see if they can put this to good use as they try. try to add to their advantage and time for the change now and over from Ericsson but well, he's made a right hash of delivering that corner Lovren Mario Pasalic. Well, the pass not finding its target. Ivan Perisic. And return to Modric. And the cross smuggled away. Ten minutes to go then. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Fabier. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Ivan Perisic. Chances on. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight.
There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left and the margin just one. Going well. Oh, what an opportunity. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. They've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Brozovic. And Kramaric on the ball. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. It's there for him! Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. So with that, we can now say it's all over and the outcome they were hoping for, certainly. A victory, and you can't argue with that, Stuart. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.